Good morning guys, I've just had the groceries delivered. I'm gonna do a bit of a grocery haul and show you our meal plan for the next week. Troy and I are going away for four days for our 10th wedding anniversary and we're taking Violet with us. My parents and Ethan are coming to stay here to keep things going. So I wanna make sure that there's a really detailed, very easy meal plan while we're gone. I'm gonna unpack it and show you what I got. And then I'm gonna make sure I've got everything ready for the next week. I did make a plan for seven days. We're not going away for a couple of days. We're not going till Sunday afternoon. We'll be gone for four days and then I don't wanna to have to shop the next day we get back. So I've made a full seven day plan. I'm gonna unpack it, show you what we got and then get all the food organized. All right, here it is all set up. Just run through it quickly and then we're going to make the plan up. I'm not sure if I mentioned that Violet's coming or not, but Violet's gonna be with us. So we didn't get anything for her in this grocery haul, except for these two little snacks that were on sale for a dollar each. So two packets of those. We got two kilos of green apples for school lunches and just for home. A couple bags of soft bread rolls. So there's 12 of those. These bagels four pack have gone back up to 350 in the shop, but they are really good bagels. Bit of cat food for Lolly and some washing powder. I'm not out of washing powder, but it was half price. So I always like to get laundry things when they're half price. And some dishwasher tablets, some nappy wipes and toilet paper. So they don't run out while we're away. We've got four loaves of bread, which I'm gonna be making freezer sandwiches with. We hardly ever buy a fizzy drink anymore or soft drink. But this week I thought we're going to be away on holiday so the kids can have some fizzy drink while we're gone. We've got some lemonade, some lemon, some orange, sarsaparilla, cream soda, more lemon and some pineapple. A few school snacks. We've got 10 individual packs of Green Waves, 15 packs of Shapes. We still have a few of these boxes in the stockpile but I don't want to use them up so I'm just going to trade that out for the fresh one. LCMs which we get every week. We've tried cheaper brands, we've tried all different ones but the boys just really really love these so we're going to stick with those for now. That's eight dollars for a 15 pack. Two packets of Parker's pretzels. So there's 12 packs there and two packets of Jumpies. There's 10 packs there. They were both on sale, two for seven dollars. Then we've got some Campbell's spaghetti sauce, two tins of that for one night when we're away with two packets of spaghetti there. Also a little jar of pesto here. All these bananas are fresh from today's shopping. We've got two packets of grapes, this really nice looking quiche Lorraine and a vegetable pie as well. Down here we've got some chicken schnitzels, a family garlic bread, nine slices in there, some traditional mayonnaise, and a bottle of tomato sauce. A family size lasagna, pre-made, nice and easy. Some creamy ranch salad and a family coleslaw. Pack of red royal gala apples. A 12 pack of individual yogurts. Four three liters of milk. Baden's already had a bowl of cereal, which is why that one is down. Oh, Violet's just woken up, so I better go and get her. Did you wake up, baby? <laughs> All right, let's finish the grocery haul. We have some pre-prepared roasting vegetables, 10 yogurt pouches for school, cocktail franks for a quick, easy weekend lunch. Frozen blueberries were half price, so I always like to grab the frozen fruit when they're half price. And also some frozen avocado slices. I haven't tried them to defrost and eat, so I'm not sure how they taste like that, but I have used them in making smoothies. And then all of these desserts were half price. So this week the kids are gonna get dessert every night. So they were all $4, they're usually $8, which I would never buy them at that price. But we got some frozen yogurt, some splits, some crunches, fudge bars back there, more crunches, more splits, and a caramel milk mousse cake. That was, I think, $7. Then we have some cream cheese and spinach savory rolls. For ebony, when we have pie night, we've got six meat pies there, 12 all together. Some parmesan and roasted garlic mashed potato, ready made. And some steakhouse beer battered chips. Tasty shredded cheese, just so it's already quick and easy to use. 36 slices of Dairy Lee cheese for making freezer sandwiches. And also the salami for the same reason. A tub of Greek yogurt and a tub of natural yogurt. I think that's all. That came to a total of just under $350, so $349 something. However, I didn't get two roast chickens because I'm going to buy two roast chickens for one of the dinners. I couldn't get them in the online shopping. It says they're only click and collect or rapid delivery, I think it said. So I didn't 
order those online, but I've got to get two roast chooks, which will cost about $22. The total will be about $375 all up for a full seven days. Well, we already have plenty of cereal in the stockpile, but we've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything in there. For this many people, $375. Okay, so I'm gonna get my list that I made, write out the meal plan so everyone knows what's what. I don't want my parents to have to do anything while they're here, so I need it ready to go and then I'm going to assign a teenager for each dinner just to make sure it's prepared. I've got to check the board to see if they're working because some of them work during the week. It looks like no one's working while we're away but sometimes they haven't written it on the board yet for next week so I'll double check on that before I make the schedule. Are you working next week when we're away? I'm working Sunday morning. Yep. And oh you're like eight to four so I won't see you on Sunday. And Monday. So I found this bit of purple card stock that I had in the craft section and I'm just starting to write up the meal plan for everyone who's going to be here. Meal plan Friday the 10th to Friday the 17th. For breakfast they'll have cereal and milk with water for the drink and just a note for the adults in charge, Elliot likes warm wheat bix and Sebastian likes Nutri-Grain but I'm sure they'll tell them on the day what they feel like anyway but that's just a note. For the kids' lunches, I'm going to make a bunch of different flavoured freezer sandwiches. Little boys will have Vegemite only at school. Then they'll each have two snacks out of the snack cupboard. Obviously the teenagers can choose theirs. Elliot and Sebby will have, for example, an LCM and pretzels. I should actually make a note that it's nude food and they can't take rubbish to school. Then they'll have a yogurt pouch each and a cut up apple and to make sure they fill their water bottles up with water. This is what I wrote out when I was doing the shopping. So I have seven different dinners. Now I just have to figure out the best order to do them in. And then they're gonna have fizzy drink at dinner time and I'll add also the desserts for each night. So I'm just having a look here what I should be using first. And I think the bread rolls need to go first. So they can be for tonight. We're going to have some chicken schnitzel rolls. So I'll get that organized. This trip kind of just snuck up on us. So we want really quick and easy dinners and meals over the next couple of days as well. So this is what we'll be having tonight. We've got the bread rolls and then we've got cheese left from last week. So some people like block cheese and some like the sliced cheese. I like both, but some of them won't eat one or the other. And then the chicken schnitzels, these have gone up in price a couple of dollars. I think these are now $12.50, they were $10.50. I'm not sure if that's just online, if they're still $10.50 in the shop, but obviously they're going up to $12.50. And the other ones, the chicken burgers have gone up to $14. So these are still cheaper to get. They're the same thing, just a different shape. Then we got some mayo because we're out of mayo. We might actually have some in the stockpile, but I might check that. And some lettuce still left from last week, which I had some yesterday and I know that that's completely fine. So that's what we'll be having for tonight's dinner. And just a note to my family, kids, if you're watching this, I'm gonna be as detailed as I can. So if you forget on, I'm not sure of anything while we're away, hopefully it will all be in here planned for you. I'm gonna write that down for tonight's meal. Obviously Ebony doesn't have chicken. So I need to defrost these sausages that we got for her the last time I went grocery shopping. These spicy Spanish sausages, plant-based, are $9.50. And we got a flybys offer to try them for free. We definitely made sure to pick them up last week. I'll defrost them now so she can have those tonight. Even though we're not leaving till Sunday, my parents are actually coming tomorrow. So I want to do a nice dinner tomorrow night. Probably the lasagna, salad and garlic bread. So I'll get that organized for Saturday night. I've got the garlic bread and the lasagna ready. Now just to choose between the creamy ranch salad and the family coleslaw salad. As you can see, this one's used by the 13th of March and this one, already looks a little bit sad and that's used by tomorrow the 11th of March. I'll see how it looks after I've washed it otherwise I'll make one up with the lettuce and my own salad dressing. I've given that salad a good wash and I actually tried a bit. And you know how that lettuce when it goes brown like that it gets that really awful bit of taste it's all the way through it even the cabbage is brown so I don't really want to feed that to my family but my parents particularly who are coming for their first night tomorrow so I might I'll just keep the dressing and I'll cut up some carrots and lettuce that we already have here so it's a bit of a shame sometimes that happens when you're not choosing your own groceries so Sunday's going to be the first night we're not here so we're going to do the roast chook on that night because we'll be able to pick it up in the supermarket that morning but we won't be able to get it any other day so we'll do roast chook veg mash and some peas and gravy, which we already have. These are the roast vegetables here. There's carrot, pumpkin, red onion, zucchini, and it's all ready to just chuck on a tray, 
put it in the oven. Do that along with the mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna buy two chooks. And then I've got some, all sorts of frozen veggies in here. And some more sausages for ebony. Also some meatballs for her in there. But as you can see there, we've got some peas and some gravy, which we might just make up first because Troy makes it really well and the others have a bit of a hard time making it. So we might just make some up, put it cold in the fridge so it's just easy to warm up. So that's Sunday night sorted. From here on out, we're away. The next thing we need to use up is the cold floor. So this goes with the quiche. I got a quiche Lorraine. And because this has bacon in it, I bought a vegetable quiche from the deli for Ebony. And then that's just to do up with these frozen chips in the oven. So this will be Monday night's dinner. Tuesday night's just gonna be a super quick Campbell's spaghetti sauce, some spaghetti, bit of grated cheese for whoever likes it. And I need to make a note for whoever's cooking. I'll probably ask Jay to do this because she's done this a few times and she's really good at doing this meal. Whoever's cooking needs to leave a bit of the spaghetti out so Ebony can put pesto on for hers instead of the meat sauce. So that will be Tuesday night. So for Wednesday, we have these two packets of meat pies for the teenagers and adults. And then Ebony will have her savory rolls. There's only two in there. And I have just made a note on the meal plan that while we're away, the boys can eat anything for dinner that We'll send them to bed with a full tummy because we do work every night with them to try and get them to eat vegetables in their main meal. But just while we're away, they're going to be a little unsettled anyway. So if they have cereal for four nights in a row, this is a one-off thing. It's going to be okay as long. I just want their bellies to be full when they go to bed so they can have wheat bix or cereal or fruit. Obviously not you know, a packet of chips or something, but something good that will fill their belly. I've just made that note there. Note just while we are away, the boys can eat anything that will fill them up. Thursday night will then be leftovers or make your own. That leaves Friday takeaway night and of course they can have fizzy drink at dinner time. So I'm going to figure out now dessert for each night so it's all organized and there's enough for everyone. Desserts just down the side here. We've got mousse cake, then a crunch, then splits. Fudge, crunch, frozen yogurt, and splits. I'm just gonna write on the boxes what's for each night so it's easy when they come to the freezer. Obviously that's a little bit of organization overkill, but I have heaps of sticker paper. So I just wrote some stickers, stuck them on there because I'm going away. So I want everything to be as easy as possible for everyone else here who don't get to go away, but for also who are doing me a favor by looking after the little boys. The most important thing is that no one has to do extra work because we're away. That's all of the dinners organized and ready. And then I'm going to put the snacks in the snack cupboard that we got from the shopping. And I'm gonna make some freezer sandwiches. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of Vegemite freezer sandwiches with my sandwich cutters for the boys. I'm gonna do cheese and salami, cheese and pickles. And I'm gonna check if we have tuna in the stockpile and I'll do tuna sandwiches too for the teenagers. Here's my little box of things to take to the stockpile. So I'm gonna keep these meat pies in the freezer in there because they don't fit in the kitchen. I'm gonna swap out the shapes. I checked our tomato sauce in the pantry. Hey, Baba. <laughs> and it's nearly full still, so I'm gonna put this tomato sauce in the stockpile. And I'm going to check if we have mayonnaise in here so I can use that instead of the one I bought today. No, there's no mayo in here. Swap these out. Put the tomato sauce in here. Put the pies in this freezer. It's been really good having the lock on the stockpile. Everything has stayed exactly how it's supposed to. I just leave it off during the day, so in case I have to come and go. Hey, Bailey. I'm 
gonna feed Violet the rest of her veggie pouch. Then we're gonna make those frozen freezer sandwiches. Say bye. Ta-ta. <laughs>